hey y'all happy monday i just came on here really quick to just give a word of encouragement on saturday morning i was in the book of ezra and y'all i love me some ezra the book of ezra and then um i also love nehemiah and so i want to talk about those two really quickly specifically ezra 4 and in ezra chapter 4 the headline is called resistance to rebuilding resistance to rebuilding and so i want to quickly come on here to encourage y'all for anybody who's in a season of building for anybody who's in a season season of rebuilding um there will be opposition there will be resistance because the enemy don't want to advance the kingdom period and so there's going to be that resistance and opposition and in the book of Ezra chapter 4, it talked about how when the adversaries of um, Judah and Benjamin heard that the descendants of Israel who were led out of captivity, when the adversaries heard that they were now coming to build the temple, um, they was mad, right? But they tried to be manipulative first. So you have to be mindful. And really, this live is to kind of tell you what to look out for. Because I got my boys in the car because we are waiting for their dad to come home. Um, he's been at a men's conference. Um, so if y'all hear them, it's cool. We're going to do this live. And so um, and so we were, um, where was I at? Uh, <laughs> Mom, life. Yeah. And so um, they were saying how yeah. at first they were like, you know, yeah. let's join yeah. with them. Conquer, conquer. Shh. They were like, let's join with them. Let's join with them. So at first they were like, you know, we want to we want to help y'all build. We want to work with y'all to do all the things. But that's why you need to have discernment when you're in a season of building. And you need to have wisdom when you're in a season of building or rebuilding, whichever one it is. Because <clears throat> there will be people who will try to build with you who aren't supposed to be building with you. There will be people who will try to provide you with resources who was never supposed to support or provide you with resources. And they're not doing it out of the goodness of their heart. They're not doing it with um, good intentions. They're doing it in a manipulative way. And if you don't have discernment, you will be deceived. And so you want to make sure that you're being discerning so that you can... Um, so that you can be able to pick up when someone is trying to deceive you or manipulate you or try to get on your team to prevent the work from advancing. And so that was the first thing they did. They tried to like, hey, we want to work with you. We want to support what y'all are doing, all of the things, right? But because they were discerning, they were like, absolutely no. No, 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 no. And so it said when they couldn't join them, they got upset and then they started trying to literally manipulate the work i wish i was able to put the um the actual verse on the screen but they literally because they could not join them because they could not support them or help them do the building um or to try to manipulate from the inside out it said that they began to try to come up with schemes and plots to hinder the work and so, um, yeah, that's my encouragement because I know a lot of us right now are in a season where we're supposed to be building, where we've been um, called to an assignment to build or to rebuild something. Um, and it's going to require us to walk in a higher level of discernment. It's going to cause us to walk in a greater dimension of wisdom. Um, we're going to have to move with speed and we want to make sure that we're not just putting people on our teams because we like them or because we think they have good intentions or because we're being naive or because we're being um just unwise period like that's the most basic way like because we're being unwise so we want to make sure that our eyes are open to see and we want to ask the lord to help us to discern the motives and the hearts of people um so the work doesn't go in vain because if you continue to read in ezra 4 
you will realize that they actually were successful in hindering the advancement of the rebuilding because um they were able to manipulate the king and so listen pray make sure when you're building and you're rebuilding that you stay in the atmosphere of prayer and you're not only praying for the work that has to be done but you're praying for the people um who are called to help you in the work that you're praying for the people who have given you the go ahead or the resources to be able to complete the work because if the enemy can't get to you he'll try to get to the people closer to you to um discourage you it literally says it in the scripture that they try to um then discourage them from doing the work and so you want to be mindful of that and that brings me um quickly to nehemiah in the book of nehemiah we see the same thing happen when um they're supposed to rebuild you know the walls and rebuild the city sambalot tobiah and the other dude they were like hey we're not gonna allow these things to happen like they were trying to discourage them they brought threats and all of the things but nehemiah did not come off of his post he did not entertain the people he he just didn't have time nehemiah he ended up getting strategy to begin to um come back the lies to come back the hate to combat all of the things and it says he began to pick up and tell the people to listen pick up your weapons of war and we're going to build with one hand and we're going to war with the other so if you're thinking that in the season of building and rebuilding that there won't be warfare that there won't be you know trials or you know specifically just warfare like expect warfare prepare for warfare Make sure you have on the full armor of God in your season of building and rebuilding because the pressure is coming. The pressure will come, but you will be prepared for it. You will have wisdom and discernment for it. So I just want to leave y'all with that. Be sure to read Ezra um, chapters 1 through 5 and then go to the book of Nehemiah. Read, read all of Ezra. Read all of Nehemiah. It's just that good. Um, and I'm, I know the Lord will bless y'all, especially if y'all in the season of building and rebuilding. Amen. Amen. So God bless y'all. Have a good night. Bye.